Hello and welcome back to Vingroth's War Mage Adventures. Let me plug and unplug my mic. Awesome. So yeah, we're back in more Oblivion, and last time we left off, I actually completed the Telvanni Stronghold house quest. So this is my house, finally. It almost took forever. <laughs> but I'm glad to have it, because I needed somewhere to put my stuff really bad. So yeah, um, as you can see, I've, I've got Dwemer Centurions just like rolling about, walking along, which is pretty awesome. If I go up here, there's another guy. There's, they're just all over the place and they help defend. Oh, hey, Jadis. And uh, yeah, these Dwemer Centurions like help defend like my property, which is pretty awesome. And this is my completed tower. Uh, don't worry, convoy, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I didn't even notice this, but I actually have like, like another cottage over here. And this is just someone that lives next to my house, who like, does spell making, which is pretty cool. So we don't have to go to the mages guild, I can just go outside. So yeah, I did to the, um, the thing to my mic. But yeah, so there's this lady here and she just does that. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Storm of Centurions. See me rolling. Alright. But yeah, so, I'll give you the house tour, I guess. Now, there is one weird thing about this house that I noticed. Granted, I, I haven't had this house ever in Morrowind. I usually cleared out some other building. But, um, it only comes with one chest. Only one. I'm not sure if that's normal. But, um, I actually, what I did was I installed a mod that actually gives you the ability to add furniture to your house, which is pretty awesome. So this fine decorated chest, I could actually, like, unlock and like move it around my house oh that's pretty funny and uh, I can open it and so this is where I keep all of my armor now in this chest with my dorm boots of flying and cephalopod helmet and all my weapons are in this chest Hello there. the staff of Magnus and spear, spear of bitter mercy but yeah so they're, they're really cool so if you want more storage in your house it's called um, uh, imperial furniture it's a really cool mod so this is the original chest that is in the house we have a nice little area here. Um, there's Nuska, of course. Now, I think my character's powerful enough. I don't like Nuska can chill out here, but I don't think she needs to go on our adventures well, really. Here's a fine one. Speak freely. I mean, she can stay here, and we can bring her to adventuring whenever we need to. But for right now, I think my character's powerful enough. But yeah, so that's our our, our lower portion there. We have the upstairs as well, which is pretty cool. Wait, what? <laughs> no, that... No, we're not doing that. But yeah, so here's a table. Um, it's just a table, really. And then you go upstairs. Like, it's really weird. As, as cool as a house this is, like, it's pretty empty, actually. Oh, hey, Leo Fire. How's it going? Alright, so I just gotta check what my, like, levitation spell is. Okay, there we go. Cool. So if we head up, we've got like an upper portion, which is kind of cool. Whoa, whoa, we need to go down a bit more. Ooh, there's like crystals. In hey, I didn't even, I didn't even know I had a dining room. Well, that's really nice. But of course, and I have a master bedroom too. See, I didn't even notice this, because freaking Telvanni Towers required you to levitate. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know, I'm excited too. I know, Staff of Magnus looks pretty cool. Oh, okay, Convoy. That's alright, though. I'm really glad you could uh, visit. I know you're busy streaming. So, yeah, I didn't realize. Okay, so there's more storage. I have a closet I didn't realize I had. And I also have a desk I didn't realize I had. Which is pretty cool. And I have bone charms? expensive pants and expensive skirts on my bed. I mean, I guess. What's this bone charm? Oh, it summons skeletons. 
it makes sense, I guess. So yeah, there's that. I didn't even know it was there. <laughs> okay, cool. And then uh, you can actually, there's like a balcony up on top. Which is pretty cool. So I can look out at like all the different, well, there's not a lot to see besides like an ashen wasteland. <laughs> I, I do like lava, actually. It's pretty nice. Shiny. Now, I also have a dungeon, which is interesting. Ha! Oops, I didn't cast levitation fast enough. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, let me heal up. So, I do have a dungeon as well in this house. I don't know why I have a dungeon, but I do. Yeah, yeah, the landslide sounds. Yeah, they're, they're in Morrowind. I don't know why they're in Morrowind, but they are. These are the two, um, like, purified great soul gems that actually built the house, which is pretty cool. And then I have a dungeon. With, like, old prisoners, I guess? There's, like, one dead corpse in this place, and it, it confuses me. But I guess, I don't know, if you're gonna be, like, a Telvani dude, you might as well have, like, some weird torture dungeon or something. You could, like, I don't know, tie people to this and, like, like, lower them bit by bit into lava. Tell me your secrets! No! Um, something like that. And then we have this little, like, pit where I'll store bodies, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know why this is part of the house. It's a cool addition, but, like, I... I wouldn't have the patience. Well, I don't think you can actually drag bodies through doors. <laughs> they were nerfed down to one room. I know, right? This is a sweet Telvanni Tower. That would actually be an interesting feature. It is sort of like Manker Cameron's Paradise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just, like, bring people into my house and I'll tell them they live forever and I'll just resurrect them. <laughs> um... Yes, I do, Leo Fire. Yeah, that is a thing, actually. Oh, that's cool, Neloth. Awesome. Yeah, I, I, I've had work, so I haven't had, like, days off. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so, my plan was... Um, so we became a wizard of House Telvanni. Um, I'm also el eligible for promotion of Warlock. In the mages guild so i might as well do that stop by oh hey satellizer old bridget wait what i don't think that's a thing that happens in oh wait no isn't it it is there's actually certain dialogue options in fallout new vegas where you actually like you don't you don't see anything but you get into bed with someone else and you like gain their favor it is a thing, strangely enough. I know all of you think all of you think people are just being lewd, but it's actually a thing. I saw um I think what was it? Hannah from the Yogs cast? She was doing a, a Fault New Vegas playthrough and she actually um <clears throat> excuse me. She uh her her female character slept with um with uh with Benny, the guy, and then assassinated him in the middle of the night. Um, so yeah, that's that's actually a thing. Yes. If you get, what is it, Femme Fatale and like, I forget what the other, like, male version is, but it's like you do more damage to the opposite sex or same sex. It's some weird stuff. Yeah, more Oblivion. Alright, so I need to advance. Alright, what do you want? Advancement! Congratulations, I'm now promoted and strive over forward. Sweet. <laughs> That's pretty wild, Cowboy. That's pretty wild. I think it's Gnora. Uh, Gamora, I think is the name of the of the strip club in uh, in in Fault New Vegas, <laughs> not Gonorrhea. <laughs> I've obtained the rank of warlock in the Mages Guild. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You got to like that. 
Yeah, some of the, some of the eyebrows using... in this game are, are pretty fantastic. Yes, yes, it is Satellizer and Bridget, yeah. Did you, did you like summon gauntlets? I think I can do a quest for her, and I've already done it, maybe? Um... Oh, she wants me to get the Staff of Magnus, which I already have. Sure, let's do the Staff of Magnus. Staff of Magnus. Um, as you already know, the Staff of Magnus is an Asu. It is in a cave in the slopes of Mount Can, just northwest of Molag Mar. Cool. Farewell. Greetings, Breton. Yes, yes, yeah. I mean, we, you, you have to clear things up, right? <laughs> Alright, so we have to... Oh, yeah, yeah, let, so let me head back to my house, then. And there's actually two items that I can, uh, sort of, um, get, which is cool. <laughs> Thanks for the spelling. <laughs> I forget which one that is, but I kind of remember that convoy. I kind of remember that. Oh, man. Yeah, she wants to Hail see it, so I'll probably have to pick up friend. the Staff of Magnus. Hail. It took forever to actually set this up on the chest and look cool. Alright, open up. I need... Oh, no, wait, it's not this one. I also need a ring. Um, which I think I have. Yeah, the Warlock's ring. That's another part of the quest. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just bring it back to her. We've already done it, really, which is kind of cool. I always liked that, that if you did enough exploring, and you've, like, you know, like, paid attention to, like, the different items, you can just go. Oh, you want a spelling bee now? <laughs> did they ask you to spell that word? That'd be interesting. I'm terrible at spelling. Like, absolutely terrible. Although, if you ask me to spell a word phonetically, I can spell it seven different ways. It's pretty cool. I know, convoy, I know. It, it hurts inside. It hurts. It wasn't seven hours, but it spent, like, putting those two, like, staves, like, crossed together, it took a long time. Now I'm just gonna have to put it in my other inventory. <laughs> Well, that's good. Oh, gosh. Alright, where's where's the Keji lady? Ajira. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, there she is. She's studying. I don't think that's healthy, Satellite Snow <laughs> Bridget. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd imagine you'd be sick for weeks. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so Staff of Magnus. Alright, Ajira knows you found the Staff of Magnus. Now Ajira might tell her other secret. Other secret? Um. Yeah, if this was Morrowind, yeah, I could have placed my stuff so easily. I know, right? Uh, I used to play guitar, uh, Neloth. Actually, it was really weird. I think the first instrument I actually started playing was, um, the, the, the reed portion, or like, like the, the part that you blow into like a bagpipe, because I was really interested in bagpipes when I was like seven for some reason, uh, but I was too young and I didn't have the lung capacity to actually play. <laughs> I tried though. Um, but yeah, then I started playing guitar for a while and then I just, I don't know. All my friends started playing guitar and it didn't feel unique to me anymore, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's see what other duties. She will tell her friend another secret. Azira is also knows about the warlock ring. You mean the one I currently have in my inventory? Warlock's ring. Azira knows um, the maid of Drethen has the warlock ring. She tells you because uh, she does not like her, and she's in a sheer but on a small cave west of Belfell. Maybe Leofire. Yeah. Oh, convoy, we don't talk about the news, remember? <laughs> news is either sad or upsetting or controversial, really, <laughs> when it comes down to it. 
Uh, do you have- you found the warlock ring, remember? Azira, uh, is your good friend who shares all of her secrets. She said, look at her smile! <laughs> hey, Maronia! <laughs> oh, that's cool, Nal. That's awesome. Okay, Satellizer. So, I don't have any more duties, do I? Oh, okay, no, no, no more duties from her. Cleaned her out of quests. My luck has advanced, which I didn't expect. If you would share your company. If there's anything I can do, I am humbly at your service. Man, she does have some wicked eyebrows, doesn't she? <laughs> like, I really didn't notice. Like, they take up like. I gotta say, at least, like, an eighth of her face is eyebrow. <laughs> Please join I mean, I know that's not, like, you know, kind, but... Gosh. You'd think, like... The Elder Scrolls would be, you know, advanced enough to have ye old tweezer or something. Or at least use, like, a caliper, right? Might be a big-ass tweezer, but what do you do? Okay, yeah, Maroni, definitely get your sleep. You don't, you don't have to stay up the whole time. You, it just just being here for the time you are here is, is fantastic. Um, they probably do now. We'll have to take a look, actually. Um, one of the things I want to do first before I start going like like crazy exploring, like for all the hot spots in the game of like crazy items, um, I want to try to at least get um my alteration to seventy five so I can open like hard level locks. <laughs> get yourself to Europe. <laughs> hey, Andrikos, how's it going? I know, yeah, Azira likes me because I freaking picked flowers for her in, like, the beginning. She sends me on, like, all these little chores. Alright, so we can put Staff of Magnus back. Bone Charm we can put away. And more like it. Now, we were actually doing, um... Oh yeah, 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 that the other guy, yeah, he, he took the, um, that lady's amulet from Leowen's uh, Mage's Guild. He also had, like, some hefty eyebrows, too. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Alright. Uh, let's see. I was actually in the middle of doing, uh, I think, the quest, right? Yeah, so we, we can actually go and do the main quest now. Let's do it. I mean, granted, I'll do some Mage's Guild quests, but... That requires me to get my magic skill up to a crazy degree. I think like, you have to have like 70 or some, something for like the highest level like Archmage or something. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll just do adventure and do the main quest. <laughs> my minions. Oh. Let's do this. It's usually Nords that have big eyebrows. Now, if this was like a, if, if this was like a, how it is, we're not your minions. <laughs> oh, yep, it's filled with torches, just like it was in Morwind. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We need. Oh wait, I think I'm all ready to go, I just need to have, like, my spells up and ready. There we go, let's do this. Come and get me, bandits. <laughs> cool, Moran. Come and get me with your crazy frilly shirts. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Elemental Punch is the coolest spell ever. They're coming out with a Minions movie, like from, um, what, Despicable Me? That sounds pretty awesome, actually. I'm not gonna get Shreked. These dudes are, like, wearing, like, like, crazy shirts. <laughs> <laughs> the best defense against bandits is your mama jokes. 
Wow, no, that's crazy. Who, who do we have here, actually? Is it this door? Heaven's Gallery? Someone's in here with me. Maybe? I don't know. Cool. Oh my gosh, Convoy, that is, that is like the biggest insult you can say. Your mom is so ugly, a cliff racer ran away from her. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. I'll take the Dwemer coin, but I can't carry around a hundred pounds of gears. I don't even know what that is, Leo Fire, but that sounds pretty cool. Am I stuck? Okay, no. Come and get me. Oh. <laughs> These are some YOLO bandits. Like, come on now. <laughs> like, the spell and casting isn't that bad. Actually, what, what spell am I using? Elemental Punch, which is... 60 damage? I guess if you're weak to a certain element, it could be, like, awful. But gosh, that was... I almost feel bad for them. <laughs> I know! Wait, wait, was there a cool death position? I, I know that one! <laughs> Those are great death positions! <laughs> It's like some crazy alternative dance. <laughs> oh man. I like that. Uh, yeah, and the I is Tolerated. great too. I, I I freaking dare you. Ooh, this guy survived. There we go. <laughs> he did an IE too! Oh man, is this the IE bandit cave? Oh, the noodles. Oh cool. Eggs. Open this up. Ooh, emeralds. 25 Dwemer coins. Awesome. <laughs> I like how you spelled that, Noah. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Flavor. I know, I should have some sort of like we find a good item like sound effect button. Oh, they're Bretons, so Bretons make the I scream. Oh, this is locked. There we go. <laughs> That'd be pretty great. Oh, oh, these guys are actually different. Oh. Wow, these guys... These guys actually have Magicka? I'm surprised. I think that would be a little bit odd that robots have Magicka. Well, I mean, I guess they're, like, basically powered by souls. Oh gosh, this is getting serious. Now that there's two of them. Oh gosh. Spells at me. Oh, it was a trap. Can I just get you guys through the door without me going in there? Because that'd be cool. Wow. I totally cheesed them. Oh gosh. Centurions are way easier. The spear ones. There's still some weird stuff going on. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I, how many probes do I have? I don't know if I have that many. I have two probes. But I think it was because it's in combat or something, maybe, that it stopped me from, like, using the probe. I don't know. I honestly have no idea. Do I more curious? Do I more greed? I'll take both. Why not? If you're lucky, some of these, like, weird things have, uh, like, diamonds and glass and stuff. In it's pretty cool. Yeah, some some more oblivion movements are a bit strange. Oh, oh you can't hear some. It seems okay. <laughs> That's some excellent Spanish there. <laughs> oh gosh. Whoa, whoa, my goodness, there's people here casting out. My luck is being drained. Boss damage resisted. Oh yeah, of course they go. There we go. Yeah, I'll take a look at it at some point. Yeah, Skywind sounds pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, we all have to do uh, the Mary's Razor DLC as, uh, soon as well. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, Skywind isn't close to completion, but I'd like to at least spend, like, I don't know, like half an, like, an hour or so, or two hours looking at it or something. I think that'd be pretty cool. Let me heal up a bit. I'm doing very good on my, like, absorption rate. Okay, never mind. I was silenced. That didn't last so long. Why not? Need one more chest. Four repair hammers, not bad. Let's open this up. Dwarven Warhammer. It's worth 600. It is the loudest machine. I wondered that too, right? Like, what they actually look like. Yeah, that's true, Naloth. Yeah, my followers are my lifeblood. You're right, yeah. And I like that it's L-Y-F blood. As opposed to L-I-F-E blood. <clears throat> cool stuff. No, we have so many, like, diamonds and stuff. Like, it's ridiculous. It really is. We we raided some, um, some vaults sometime <laughs> last week, and we have so many diamonds and stuff, it's, it's ridiculous. It really is. Actually, do I have them with me? I might. Let me, let me look at it. No, oh, that's not right. Here we go. So I, I have all my alchemy equipment on me. And yeah, so I've got, yeah, yeah, that's, that's nice. Diamonds, emeralds, do I have rubies? I think I do. <laughs> I 
Expand improved map markers. Huh, interesting. I, yeah, the only, um, a raw glass. That's nice. Whoa, look at all these rubies. Gotta like that. I think some of these are actually cursed. Like, let's test this out. I think this is a cursed ruby. Now, if this works like... Oh, I, I picked it up, rather. So if this works like it does in Morrowind, I should be able to drop this. And if I try to pick it up, it should summon, like, a Dramora. No. Oh. Nope, never mind. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I, I do like Dwemer Ruins better. If you're gonna compare ruins... I mean, Iliad Ruins are kinda cool, but, like, when it comes down to it, like, Dwemer Ruins are awesome. Hmm. <laughs> Ping boys. Woo, we did it! I was afraid we weren't going to make that jump. <laughs> oh, you prefer Iliad runes? Interesting. Oh, gosh! Now, good thing this is uh, Oblivion and not Morrowind. Because Nords have, like, crazy elemental resistance. Like, some serious crazy elemental resistance. It's like, 100% resist, like, frost, and 50% resist, like, lightning or shock, which is obscene. And that's why I used it. What's this in the corner? A Dwemer Co here. A Dwemer too. Interesting. I like some of the, the aspects of Alien Ruins, but when it comes down to it, like, if you take, like, the combined, like, like, Morrowind Dwemer Ruins and Skyrim Dwemer Ruins, like, they have, they have some cooler aspects to them. Although, I'm a sucker for Wakeland Stones, or Welkin Stones, and Varna Stones. I think they're the coolest. Yeah, Nords are super strong in Morrowind. Oh my gosh. I don't know if we're going backwards. Or not. I think we're in a new area. Oh! Someone wants to be dead. It's you! <laughs> I love how fast they hit the floor. <laughs> what? That's the longest hashtag- well, okay. I'm not gonna say that, because someone's gonna want to make a longer hashtag than that. <laughs> so please don't make a longer hashtag than that. <laughs> Small broth. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I like that you guys are like taking apart my name and making it like swag roth, swole roth. Got a lantern. Four gold. I think I missed something. Let me um let me levitate. Wait, you can't hear the sound? Can anybody else is anybody else having trouble with sound? and Dwarven Spear. Sweet. Let me uh, put some stuff away. Oh, okay, Roni. Have a good night. Put this Dormer stuff away. It's really weighing me down. <laughs> oh, it sounds good for you guys? Alright. I don't know, Andrew Coast. Try, um... What are you watching from? Your presence here will not be tolerated! Whoops, that was not the right spell. Ow. Raising my block skill. Gosh, that elemental punch. 
It doesn't actually punch, but it really does like do a number on people. <laughs> oh gosh. I've started something horrible, haven't I? Oh, wait, isn't it? There it is. The door of puzzle box. I found the door of puzzle box. Hasfa Anibalus uh, told me about. Uh, now I'll take it to him and return him. Uh, he'll tell me uh, what I need to know about the Neverine secret cult and the Sixth House secret cult. Awesome. That means I'm going to have to do a lot of fast reading. <laughs> Alright, look in these crates. Uh, okay. I know that's yeah, Leo Fire. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Fair. <laughs> what if I was gonna give him money? I think I missed part of. Did I? I don't know. Nah. Oh, no, no, uh, no, Andrew Coast. This is, uh, m my Morble of being played through. Guys, don't be hating. Alright. Oh, yeah, I did miss part of it. Hmm. How do I get there? I am a Telvani mouth, yeah. I did explore all of that. I've ascended to level 19! Sweet! Probably because I've been running around in circles and raised my athletics. Yeah, yeah, I've never... I, I've, I've become the Telvani now, but I haven't actually started the main quest yet. Such is how I normally do things. I don't know why, but that's what happens. Satellizer, why? Just... get your weight. Gotta be a little bit nicer, come on now. <laughs> Whoa, oh gosh, he came out of nowhere. I, I thought it was a joke. But, you know, it's a weird thing where if you try to joke with people, like. <laughs> yeah, that is that is weird actually. I I, I saved like the Morwin main quest for last. But yeah, I, I did the Oblivion quest first. That is kind of weird. I I never noticed that. How do I get to this other section? What is that about? No, I didn't get my name from a Pokemon. I thought of the name Vingroth before Vigoroth was a thing. <laughs> Let's see, Maroni. Okay. Maybe there's another door I can go through? No, no, um, if you guys want to... I'll tell you the story of... of I, it's not really a story, I guess. Um, where Bingroth came from, basically. It is actually just the combination of two words. Um, vine growth, actually. Um, and basically, it was because... What was it? Did I miss it or not? I don't know. Over here? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> See you, Maroni. But yeah, uh, basically it's a combination of vine and growth. And uh, what it is, is um, it basically comes from the idea that Vingroth, like the character that I make here, um, is like the total opposite of a druid. Um, so it's 
kind of like an ironic name given to like like a war mage basically so that's that's like the basis it didn't come from a pokemon weeping bell hall weeping bell hall weeping bell hall although we are going to weeping bell hall so there we go oh maybe maybe it's this one. ah here we are it was a different weeping bell hall there's a lot of pokemon references Oh, that, that, yeah, that is a pretty funny song. Wait, what, what? Yeah, I, I did the, uh, the Shadow Growth quest. You can check out the highlight, though. The highlight's still available. That you can look at. I think I highlighted the entire thing. Oh, see a convoy. <laughs> yeah, Weeping Bell's a Pokemon, yeah. It's, um, it's the evolved form of uh, Bell Sprout and then turns into Victory Bell. There's like a larger room there. Let me go check that out. Is it, is it grass poison or just grass? I forget. It's funny, I don't use grass Pokemon that much. Like when X and Y came out, I chose, um, oh, who's the grass guy? And then, I forget, what is the grass guy? Well, the, the main one is what, Chestnut, I think his name is? Uh, let's try to disarm this trap. But like, it's crazy. Like. Fighting and grass together has so many weaknesses. Like, I'm pretty sure you actually have six weaknesses. Which is insane. The Untouchable Queen. Oh. Cool. Probably Bell Sprout was inspired by Bean Sprouts, maybe. It seems likely. I mean, it's a very strangely designed Pokemon. I'll say that. Repair Hammer. I think that's that's the whole place then. Sweet. Diamonds your favorite. Yeah, the way my Pokemon worked out is I uh, what, I started out with like. Blue, Pokemon Blue, and then, uh, like, I went to, like, Gold and Silver, and then, like, I stopped for years, and then I played, um, X and Y when it came out. We should also uh, train my alteration, because once we train my alteration, I can cast like some like heavy, like open very hard locks. It's over. We're just gonna open everything. Oh, you got every single one! Wow. You like Porygon? Snorlax is pretty cool. What's my favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is like a tie between um, um, Inke, Inke and Malmar, and um, uh, and Venipede, and hit all of his evolutions. I think they're the coolest. Um, so wait, I need to talk to. Oh, there you are sleeping. Wake up! I have a quest to hand in. All right. So do you have uh, that little favor I asked? I remember that too, Phantom. That was a pretty funny commercial, I remember. Uh, Dorm Puzzle Box. The little cube I'm looking for is about the set. Oh. Um. Do I have to talk about that? Um. 
Oh, this is the place we went to. Favorite adult Pokemon. <laughs> uh, uh, the old door ruins um, are okay. I have the puzzle box. If you're wondering. Favor. Oh, duh. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. Um. All right. Let's see what he has to say. Uh, let me t uh, take the storm puzzle box, and then I'll tell you uh, what Caius wants to know about the sixth house and about the Neverine. Uh, by the way, uh, the inscription on the box seems to uh, be the directions for setting a Dormer key to a specific lock. Uh, if you're interested, uh, after you've delivered your report to Caius Cassides, come back, and I'll have a key for you when you get when you take ba to take back to Arkan. Oh, really? Well, that sounds pretty cool. I've never actually done that. Oh, hey, Evan Star. Cool. All right, so we have to ask about Sixth House, so I'm going to have to read a little bit quickly because they're probably just going to, like, wall of text me. So let's do this. House Dagoth is the Sixth House, the Lost Sixth House. In the first stage, House Dagoth betrayed the uh, Great Houses during the War of the First Council and was destroyed for their treason. Uh, I can answer any questions you have, but I'll also give you some notes to give to Caius and recommend the six house references he should read. Okay, cool. We also have to ask about the Nevering cult, right? Or maybe the six house cult? Uh, I've heard something about a secret cult worshipping Dagother. The idea is that the tribunal are false gods um, who have betrayed Morwind uh, to the Imperials. Uh, the cult plans to overthrow the temple and drive the Empire from Morwind. Uh, the cult is outlawed by the temple and the great houses, uh, or the empire, and I doubt it's very popular. Uh, I've also heard that there's connections with smuggling, and they've been smuggling goods, uh, or hire smugglers or something like that. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, Dreadmaster. <laughs> Alright, was that it? Do I have to ask more about the sixth house? Oh, okay, maybe that's it then. Cool. Oh, see a convoy. <laughs> it's funny, he keeps saying bye, and then he's like, I guess I start talking about Pokemon. Everybody that likes Pokemon is like, oh man, I have to go, but I have to talk about Pokemon. I feel the same way. <laughs> See you, convoy. Man, my fatigue does not regenerate that quickly. Uh, let's go back to Kai's Kasadis then. There you are. Uh, you're here to discuss your orders, or is it something else you want? Uh, let's see, the... Do I ask about the Nervarine or Orders? Uh, these notes are from uh, Hasfalt Anabolus. Excellent. I trust uh, he didn't work you too hard for them. Uh, okay, Dreadmaster. Um, I'll look forward to them in more detail later, but now I have some new orders for you. Cool. Oh, hey, Castlebrick. How's it going? Alright. Uh, more orders. Uh, I've glanced at Hasfalt Antibolus' notes. Uh, they cover the Sixth House admirably, uh, but not the Nervarine cult. Uh, hop over to the Belmore Mages Guild. Uh, it's right next to the Belmore Fighters Guild. Um, get Sharngrim Mozgob um, and tell you what she knows about the Nervarine. Um, she'll have some silly errand for you. Uh, do what she asks and report back to me when she's given you the information. Cool. Now, take care. We kind of actually did that. Wait, what? No, I didn't! Oh, that's... Oh, no, I didn't see that, that run, AGDQ. Did they break any world records? Because I know, like, if you actually speedrun Morrowind, like, it's like... like, sub three minutes. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> That's funny. 
Alright, now we actually kind of have done this quest. Oh uh, yeah, I'll have to look it up. I know, it, it involves like some crazy, crazy stuff, like having to like, basically like, do some crazy stuff with potions, like fast weapon swa swapping, like, some really ridiculous stuff. I also like the, uh, the Oblivion speedrun is pretty cool too, where you basically just, like, get out of the sewers with, like, a potion or anything to jump off. Oh, no way, it's a 30-ish minute run, because he did all of the main quest. Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool, as opposed to the, like, sort of game-breaking type. Oh, you know what, I don't even need to come here, I forgot about that. We sort of already did this quest. Um, why? Um... Because I have this dude's skull somewhere. That we basically went into a temple or very early on, like outside of Saint Nin, and all we needed oh. was like a skull. Hello. Which I think is in here. No. Uh, is it in here? Oh yeah, sure. Go ahead, Castle Brick. Yeah, it'll give us something cool to look at. Um. This could be an issue. I have lost that skull. Ooh. I have no idea where it could have gone. <clears throat> it's something like Saint Lovith's skull or something like that. Yeah, this is my Telvani house, which is pretty cool. You get, like, the Dagger of Judgment, like, right next to this guy. But yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. It was actually larger than I thought it was before, because I didn't check out, like, the levitation parts of it. <laughs> okay, so that's... I don't know where that skull is. That's pretty bad. Morning. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's back in that... We'll have to see. I... I... Is it in my normal inventory? I didn't even check. Oh, it is! I've just kept it there the whole time. <laughs> I was worried that uh, I didn't have it on me. But yeah, she asks you to go into um, like a temple that's like close to Sadenine, and we just you know went there, and got the skull, because I knew it'd be useful. <laughs> we died there like a lot. I think that was a pretty tough temple for like the early on version of this game. Oh, that's cool now. Yeah, it's actually huge. Like, it has an upper tower, and <laughs> it was so funny. I thought, like, we only had one, like, container in the entire building, and I was wrong. <laughs> I was so wrong. It is a, a creepier version of where's my glasses. Oh, they're on my head. Where's that skull? It's not in this chest. Oh, it's been in my inventory the entire time we've been playing. <laughs> that is some freaky crap. Alright, where is Muzz Club but... Did you just summon a you zombie? You honor me. Do you wish to do business? I hate zombies. Oh, Hello. Oh, that's... Oh, that's a nasty zombie. Like, there's... there's oh. There's, like varying degrees of nasty Welcome, zombies, friend. and that's just a we nasty We extend zombie. you our warm regards. Um, is it Autumn Games done quick? Is that what it's? Uh, awesome Games done quick. I know they do like Summer Games done quick. It's like the same sort of thing. Oh, let's see. Come to sort of agreement. Will you help me complete a little errand? Yes. How about this little errand? Uh, the errand then is very simple. Uh, you need the skull of uh, Luven Andro, who you signed in Evandro Ancestral Tomb. Uh, but take care not to upset the natives. The Dunbar have some peculiar um, primitive prejudice against necromancy and take uh, grave objection to unauthorized tomb. Okay, cool. So we did it, actually. She does look like a like a principal actually. It's pretty funny, like that sort of hairstyle. It is it is like you'd expect them to be like, go to your classroom, children! Except with like a horrible underbite and going, Go to your classroom, children. <laughs> Cause she's an orc. 
Very good. Uh, I'll take that skull from you. Uh, per <laughs> perfect for what I have in mind. Thank you. Now, as I promised. Uh, I'll answer your question on the Nervine cult. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. I'm glad to have that skull out of my inventory. Uh, Nervine cult. The Ashlander cult believes uh, long-dead hero Naravar will be reborn uh, to honor the ancient promises of the tribes. <laughs> According to legend, the prophesied Naravarine will cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple, uh, restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlander, and drive uh, all out outlanders from Morrowind. Uh, both temple and empire outlaw the cult, uh, but it persists among Ashlanders uh, who care little for imperial or temple law here. Uh, take this copy of the notes for the topic for Kasai. For Kaius. Awesome. At your service, Breton. <laughs> Greetings. Side of Ezreal, Bridget. <laughs> All right. Let's go to Kaius Kasai's. I'm glad we could just knock that quest out. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know, like I don't know what work cuisine is like. Like is it like like pummeled cow? And it's just like a cow that's been like brutally punched to death and like lying on a table. <laughs> like what is orc food like specialized to like, you know What where is it? Where do they live, actually? I'm blanking right now. Where Where is the home, the home like part of Tamriel for orcs? Is it just Orsamir? I forget. <laughs> Lots of horse meat. <laughs> All right, let's talk to guys. Uh, are you here to discuss your orders, or is there something else you want? Uh, orders. Uh, these are Sharn's notes on the Nervarine cult. Excellent. I'm promoting you to the Blade's Apprentice. Spaghetti. <laughs> uh, I'd like uh, some time to think um, how this fits with the Emperor's plans for you, so if you'd li uh, like a little freelance adventuring, go ahead. Okay, let's do some freelance adventuring. Good day. Orsinium. <laughs> There's some things that are explained, but you're right. They're they're they have a lot of lore that is explained, and some that really need some more like touching on. Thanks, now. All right, so I kind of want to do more mages guild quests because if we do more mages guild quests, I really really want to become the archmage. Yeah, I guess so, Castlebrick, right? That's true, the early games were kind of limited, so they couldn't be like, here's an awesome backstory, and you're like so pumped, that I'm gonna play an orc, and have all this orc lore behind me, and then like, you click and drag and swipe the sword across the screen in arena, so, yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> no. Alright, so I want to go to... Telbernora? Yeah. This is where the Master Trainer for Alteration is. I want to raise my alteration a lot. How close am I to 75? I think it was at... Am I at 65? So I'm like two or so levels away. Including training. Yeah, 65. Cool. Let's do this. Acrobatic skill increased. Is it just me or has my acrobatics been going a little bit more slowly than normal? Jeff armor does look really cool though. Oh yeah, the house is over here. Here it is. It took forever to find this last time. Um, can we just enter this house and be fine? Love to see. Alright, training. You've got a lot to learn. There we go. I can show you I can show. Let's get to knowledge. I'm willing to. All right, cool. Okay. 
How is our gold situation, actually? Oh, oh we're we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> oh, all those like ebony things. Um I don't know, like the 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 speed bonus isn't that great, honestly, from the boots of blinding speed. Like they're okay. Um I just have like a I guess a little bit of bias from um Morwin's boots of blinding speed, which could technically oh I'm eligible for promotion of master in House Tovani. Promotion to the rank of wizard. Excellent. So wait, I'm like 70? Yeah, 70 in alteration. Excellent. I know, I'm loaded, I know, right? It, I mean, it's so easy though in Morrowind. Like, you. The thing about Morrowind is, and I think I say this every time I, I stream about Morrowind, is that if you have the cojones to just go into a place and absolutely just raid everything, then you can easily make like a ton of gold. Especially if it's like the right place. Because if it's the right place with the right artifacts and ebony weapons and stuff, like, it's, it's, it's easy. It's really easy. So I wanted to do some mages of quests if I can. Um, I think Skink and Tree Shade is the guy I gotta talk to. But yeah, I really want to get the um, the Morwin's version of the Necromancer amulet because it gives you like spell absorption 25, regenerate health one, like some really crazy. Oh yeah, no, I could sell the jewels. I could, I forgot about that. Oh, cool, Leo Fire, awesome. But yeah, I could, uh, I could sell the jewels. But, um, they're kind of alchemy ingredients. To <laughs> insult the Vec guards, try to attack you, survive profit. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. I'm sorry. Yeah, you could, you could, you could farm up some guys really easily, just by like going, like, Go ahead. and killing like a Daedric Temple and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that side. Please line. tell me about yourself. I like that. All right. So where are you, Skink and Tree Shade? There you are. Um, I'm at your service. Um, are you here for duties or advancement? Advancement? I, uh, in order to advance you, then you must be... Oh, I must have a wizard staff. I must have a wizard staff. Give me a wizard staff. I would sell you wizard staff, but they are quite expensive. 5,000 septums. However, um, I also know of a former uh, member of our order, um, Arnine, uh, who may still have her wizard staff. Uh, let's see. I mean, we could buy a wizard staff easily enough, but let's go, like, kick someone's ass and take her staff. <laughs> um, what about, uh, Anarine? Um, really any wizard staff will do, but it's no crime to take, uh, from a renegade and an outlaw like Arnine. Um, last I heard, she was in... Okay, I couldn't read fast enough. This is an honor for me. It's funny, I, I have my thing with chopsticks too. I am. Um, I'm I'm good with chopsticks and then I start eating like normal, like you know, American food, which uses forks. And then I start using chopsticks again, I'm like, I'm so like bad at this. Like it's it's bad. If you don't like keep doing chopsticks, it's very really tough. Alright, so let's see this quest. Wizard staff. Wait, what? Oh crap. I'm gonna have to ask him again. Yeah, once you get the handle of it, it's easy, Satellizer. I, I do agree with that. It's just if you're out of practice and you've been using a fork or you're like, you know, eating sandwiches for a while, then like, it's kind of awkward. Alright, so I'm going to have to ask about the wizard staff, because I didn't read that last part. Last I heard, she was in the Caverns of Sud. 
Can you tell me about the Caverns of Sud? This is an honor for me. <sighs> they won't tell me about Sud, will they? Which <laughs> one? <laughs> oh my. Alright, so I I remember having a very tough time learning where Sud is. I'm gonna have to look it up. I eat with two wizard staffs. <laughs> it's like the best chopsticks ever. Just two, two wizard staves. Alright, let me look up Sud. Because last time I remember having like the most difficult time trying to find this. And since he's not giving me directions, then what am I going to do? Alright. Come on. Sud is... Okay. Da da da. Region. Oh my gosh. There's like a grid and everything? This is crazy. 222... Two, twenty-two. What? How was that an area? No, no, twenty-two. Two. What? Shiograd region. Oh, okay. All right. I know where it is now. Awesome. They have a very awkward map on the um. UES um. Go ahead, straight. <laughs> All right, so let's see. It's like around here, basically. So let me go to um, Ranadrolin's shack. There we go. Ah, oh, sporks are fantastic. <laughs> I know, Phantom, right? And that is a total Morrowind thing that, like, they just don't give me directions. Oh my gosh, just a freaking day drop. <laughs> it was so dark I didn't even see him. Oh my gosh, just die. Got him. Woo. I forgot about him. The Daedra infestation on this island. It is a bit dark actually. Let me wait till it's daytime. <laughs> I don't know why it's so dark out. I know, right? There we go, that's better. I've had some I think it's weather conditions. Cause I remember like the first episode of More Oblivion. Like, it was foggy out in Sadenin, and we could not see a thing, and we were trying to do Fargoth's quest, and we're like, I see, like, a ball of light, and I don't even know if that's, like, a guard or Fargoth. It's true, I was, yeah, how are you supposed to know every inch of Ardenfell? Like, everybody knows about Sud, you know. Sud, that popular place that all the kids go. Sud's, like, the happening place in Vardenfell. Oh, um, I left Nuska in the house, basically. I think I'm powerful enough to kind of adventure on my own right now, so I don't think I actually need her. Like, kind of? I mean, we could see where she is. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you mean, what, uh, what was, what did he say? What was it? Shagara? Shagara? It was a mispronunciation uh, from Morrowind, which was interesting. I can't, I can't believe that even happened. Everybody goes to Sud to do, like, skooma. They're like, whoa! Whoa! And they walk through with all the crystals. And they do, like, freaky, like... Like, culty necromancer stuff. And they're like, you've gotta lick the zombie! 
They're like, no, man, that's gross. I'm not going to lick a zombie. They're like, lick a zombie, man. <laughs> but it's really just an orc. And they're tripping out. <laughs> yes, I'll always remember Nuska for her, like, just shooting me in the back all the time. He's an ebony spear, which is pretty awesome. Take that! Awesome. Did I fall? Alright, we're good. <laughs> uh oh. Um, yeah, I think I'll bring back um, Nuska for like certain battles that I anticipate to be difficult. Um, but so far, adventuring on my own seems okay. Oh, I remember this place. There's like a whole bunch of skeletons upstairs, and they're bad. They're calling, calling to arms. Uh, let me levitate. Um, can I levitate in water? Um, yeah, there we go. Woo! Oh gosh! Oh my! Surrender your life to me and I will end your pain. Uh oh, I'm falling down. We got her. No, this is the sky left. I have to heal up. Ooh. Um, yeah, I'll get those gauntlets eventually. Um, I just have to go to the right place, I think. Yeah, that lag was crazy, though. You know, it's a weird thing, though. I've noticed that, um, that the lag goes away when I toggle collision, which is a weird thing. Yeah, 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 I know what gauntlets you're talking about. Yeah, they, they fortify, like, strength and agility by 20. They're like the... Fists of Rangulf or something like that. They're pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I guess that's one, you know, way to do them, or, you know, reason to do the main quest too, because those gauntlets are amazing. Oh, that's pretty cool, Evan Star. Alright, I think I can... Ooh! Oh, I thought I opened a trap. It was... I was being... having a spell cast at me. Whoops. Right, come and get me. Ooh. This guy's tough. Fancy spin move, go! Shager off. Yeah, that's how it was pronounced. They probably told the dude, you're you're the uh, Daedric God of Madness. He's like, I'm going to get so mad that I'm not even going to pronounce my own name correctly. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit too much madness that you don't even like say your name correctly. It's a little bit too much. Alright, heal up a bit. I'm still like levitating. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that there's been some, like, collision issues. Yeah. Oh, pumpkin's great! Um, well, I mean... I guess not from pumpkin's perspective, because pumpkin, like, recently got neutered, so... Um... But I can't have a cat, like, spraying my house. I'm not gonna let that happen, so... But no, he's, he's good otherwise. Now, this is weird. I don't know why, but I feel like... Oh gosh, let me... 
against this person. But Pumpkin's doing what I'm doing all right. He's happy. Alright. Oh, Pumpkin's my cat. Glass Halber. And Vardenfell Ebony Shield. But yeah, so, um... I don't know why, but I think, like, these Golden Saints, like, the Morwen Golden Saints, aren't, like, basically, like, on the same team as some of the other Daedra, and so they fight each other, which is why you will see them dead. Is this just... okay. Let me just check this other cave out. Unless... There's, is there anything to that? I don't think so. Golden Saints are hot! <laughs> Yeah, these Daedroth are a bit more scary, I, I agree with that. Are you just asleep? Let's sneak up. Vingroth. Not known for sneaking. Will attempt sneaking for the first time. Ah, oh, crap. face was the last mistake you'll ever make. Well, guess what? You're a high elf, and I'm using a spell that's going to kick your ass. Bam. Glass Netch Dagger. We've actually found one of those. And Wizard Staff. Hooray! They're partying in Crucible. <laughs> Faith Vulcan 3. Ooh, Conjuration increased. I'm not good at Conjuration, but there we go. I think Winged Twilights are cool, yeah. I'll take those scrolls, because that sounds cool. An urn with... Ooh, what do we have here? I'll take that. That's good. I'll take a Detect... Oh, crap. A de that pose, I know. She's got all the swag. Little did I know that she cast a spell on me before she died, which was absorb swag. And um, yeah, I, I I have this much left swag, this much left swag. Words in combination with swag are a very strange thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm more of a dark seducer man as well. <laughs> For talking dark seducers or golden saints, I'm more of a dark seducer man. Ooh, quality potion of silence, although it's poison, actually. I know, being over-encumbered is like a thing. 